The best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm Ashley Skeva, and yes, there's no co-hosts. It's unless there are ghosts in this room, but that's because our new set's being built, and your words have not gone unheard. And we'll tell you more about that soon. But for now, let's hit the headlines. I should tell you right up front: if you are terrified of robot bike cops or the idea of robot bike cops, you should probably look away for this story. Yamaha unveiled Motobot at the Tokyo Motor Show this week, a robot rider mounted on a Yamaha R1M superbike with some slight safety modifications like training wheels on either side in case the robot puts the bike on its side accidentally. So what exactly is the point of sticking a futuristic looking robot onto a motorcycle aside from looking really, really cool? Yamaha says it wants to someday be able to build a robot that can ride on a motorcycle that isn't modded out like this one is and without assistance. Once they achieve that goal, the data and knowledge acquired during that process can be applied to rider safety and rider support technologies, which is always a good thing in my mind. Motobot is already feeling pretty confident about its existence. It already sent a message to rider Valentino Rossi saying it was created to surpass him. Ooh, that's creepy. Well, let's be less creepy and talk about teddy bears, or more specifically, virtual reality teddy bears. Japanese startup Ada Warp is working on an interesting experience that combines stuffed animals and virtual reality. They want to allow you to see through the eyes of a teddy bear. It's not just a simple point of view experience though. The idea includes the ability to talk to people near the bear and hear their responses, turn the bear's head by turning your own head while it's in that VR headset, and even move the bear's arms by using an Xbox controller. The inventor of the bear, Tatsuki Adeniya, says the bear could be used to keep in close touch over long distances, but I personally thought this might be an excellent therapy or teaching tool for children if he can smooth out the movements and make them less terrifying. Adeniya hopes to ship the robotic shell powering the bear by the end of next year for developers and a consumer version that's fully realized after that. Which I'm assuming the official name is going to be Virtual Ruxpin? You're welcome. It's not even really that great of an idea. All right, guys, uh, this last story is for anybody who has found themselves wishing they can make a full-size wireframe prototype in the comfort of their own home. So all of us, right? I hereby introduce you to the Protopiper, a genius bit of technology from a team of researchers at the Human Computer Interaction Lab at the Hasso Plattner Institute. This is a delightful little tape gun that's been modded out to mold tape into tubes, which can then be attached to each other to create full-size wireframe prototypes. Now, obviously, you wouldn't be able to sit on or otherwise put weight on these prototypes, but the team who made the Protopiper says it's actually a great tool for inventors or designers to get a feel for dimension and form at the earliest stages of design, potentially saving cash in the long run by eliminating costs of creating more expensive and functional prototypes too early in the process. I'm also sure it will come in very, very handy for some hipster who wants to have quirky art pieces in their house. All right, guys, let's check out Mod Squad. <laughs> Logan caught this week's Mod Squad online a few days ago, and since we both enjoy the Assassin's Creed franchise, we figured it was a no-brainer. Colin Furs is obviously also a fan of the Assassin's Creed franchise, and he created working versions of both the Hidden Blade and the Rope Launcher gauntlets featured in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. The Rope Launcher is really nice to look at, and the initial blast of the rope with the help of a CO2 canister is pretty exciting to watch, but the actual hoisting isn't quite as fast as we hoped it would be. I guess it's impressive the winch can lift furs up to his desired location, though. The hidden knife gauntlet, on the other hand, looks super nimble and deadly, slicing up bags of grain and sheets without any problems. It can retract and extend with a simple wrist motion, but honestly, I think I'd be scared to stab my own hand if I was using it. So good job, Colin, on not injuring yourself. Full disclosure, Colin actually partnered up officially with Ubisoft to make these items, so they're kind of a promotional tool, but they also required a lot of work. So we do salute Colin for his efforts. All right, guys, that is it for Mod Squad. We have a brand new viewer, brand new fan. So let's check out our photographer of the day. Our photographer of the day today is somebody you might be familiar with, Neil, who has written into the show before. He's been kind of a fan of the show since day one, which is pretty awesome. And now there's a new fan of the show. This is Baby Jensen. 
I'm assuming somebody else snapped this picture with Neil's Lumia 635, but he tweeted to us and he says, Baby Jensen, born six pounds, 12 ounces. You can use this on the show. Lumia 635, baby and mom are doing amazing. So welcome to the world, Baby Jensen, and we hope that your future is full of not creepy and amazing virtual reality teddy bears and definitely not creepy, terrifying robot bike cops. Uh, if you guys want to submit your pictures to be considered for phone talker for the day, you can email us tomorrow at cnet.com. Send us your name, your picture, a story about your picture, what device you took it with, and of course, give us permission to use it on the show. Uh, if you want to find us on the internet, we're Tomorrow Daily on Facebook and Twitter. I'm at Ashley Escava on Twitter. Producer Logan's at Logan Moy. And that is it for the show. If you want to share it with somebody, you can send them to TomorrowDaily.com. We always appreciate that. We'll see you guys next time with a brand new docket of weird science fact and science fiction. But until then, be good humans. Bye. <laughs>